Hello everyone, this is Blood Queen Tarot. I am here to do a reading for the sign of Capricorn. Capricorn, this is your weekly reading for March the 1st to the 6th, 2021. Your oracle for that week and what's crowning your energy is dry flower fairy. And it says sweet memories. So that's your oracle. Your first card out was the four of swords. So this is someone who could be taking a nap. Somebody could be retreating, resting their mind. This is someone who don't want to talk about it and they don't want to think about it. Um, this could be a card of, like I said, somebody taking a nap. Um, this could also be like a physical death. And the reason why I said that was because what clarified the four swords was the ten of swords. So these are two death cards, like a physical death. Don't have to be. I'm going to clarify it. This could be Capricorn, you or somebody else. Somebody could be healing from a betrayal. That's what that could be telling me as well. Like this is you healing. Something could have happened in the past. This is a painful ending of betrayal. Um, what just came to me, cause that man, I don't know if you can see the picture, but that man is right there. He's in the graveyard, but what just came to me was, um, whether this was a painful ending or betrayal, something wasn't buried. Something died, but it wasn't buried. Um, when I asked for more information about the four swords, the chariot came out in reverse. This is a major arcana for the sign of cancer. What clarified the chariot was the Ace of Pentacles. Um, this is some type of offer. This could be um, the birth of a child. This could be a new home, a raise, a bonus, a promotion, a proposal. Um, let me show y'all the spread as well. So that's the, if y'all can see it, that's the spread. Like the layout. I'm trying to put it back how I had it. <laughs> okay, so... Let me see what's going on. The Ten of Swords and the Four of Swords. Is this a, a physical death? Mm, it's telling me, yeah. Um, is this physical death something that happened in the past? Yeah, okay. So this happened in the past. So this is not going... This physical death is not going to happen. Um... In, in the first week of March or in the future. This is something that happened in the past. And um, I want to say too, before I got ready to do y'all reading Capricorn, I didn't want to do y'all reading. Um, it was like something I was, I felt avoidance. So I don't know Capricorn, if you're, you're going to be trying to avoid something, like you don't want to deal with something in the first week of March for that week. But it was avoidance. I mean, I'm a Capricorn, and I didn't even want to do our sign. So I was kind of, the energy was avoidance. So I don't know, Capricorn, if someone close to you could have passed away in the past. But whatever this, whatever this death is and whoever passed away... That's why this chariot is in, a re in reverse. This offer didn't happen. Whatever this Ace of Pentacles could have been, it, it didn't move forward because somebody could have passed away. I don't know if you were supposed to get married and your spouse, your fiance or something could have passed away. Um, Let me see. <clears throat> Clarify the Ten of Swords and the Four of Swords. Um, it says sunrise. Yeah, so 
when somebody pass away, let me show y'all the card. It say new, it say new creative ideas, new ventures, a fresh start. But the card says sunrise, and you know on obituaries and stuff, the sunrise is the birthday, the, is the person's date of birth, and then it says sunset, sunset, the date they passed away. So. Yeah, there was an ending, there was a death to this sunrise, to this person being alive. That's what I'm getting from that. Because it's telling me that's a person. Yeah, so this person has physically passed on. Um, Let me see what this, I'm going to pull a, or, a oracle on this energy. An awakening just throughout. So this person, um, you know, you know, see, uh, they died to this natural world, but they awakened somewhere else, or their death could have caused you an awakening, Capricorn, because awakening just throughout the day. So this is Capricorn weekly reading, March first to the sixth, twenty twenty one. Give me an oracle. What is this? Who was this? Who passed away for Capricorn in the past? Four of swords and a ten of swords. Tell me more information about this. Mm, yeah. Destruction. So, I don't know if this person could have self-destruct. Um, I don't know if this could have been suicide. Or this is letting me know this death. Whoever passed away, Capricorn, it caused you destruction in your life. Or they could have passed away from a, um like a natural disaster. That's a hurricane or tornado. Yeah, the person could have passed away from um a natural disaster. Or this person who passed away was destruct was destructive towards you. But let me see. Um, this destruction card. Did this person pass away from a natural disaster? Did this person pass away from natural disaster? Yeah. They, yeah, okay. Um, Because like I said, this person, Capricorn, your person passed away from a natural disaster. And it could have been like a hurricane, a fire, some type of storm or tornado. And like I said, in this Ten of Swords, it's like, like I said, the person passed away, but they was never buried. So, I don't know if you could never find the person, like, their remains. Was Capricorn ever able to find the person that passed on? Did they ever find the body? Temperance came out. Temperance is kind of like... Oh... Was the body ever found? I don't know if Temperance is telling me to tell you. You have to be more patient. Or something. Uh, I don't know what Temperance is telling me. Did Capricorn ever find the body of their loved one? No, you didn't. Nope, you didn't. But. It told me to say they're, they're amongst the dead. So you never got a chance to give your loved one or this person a proper burial. Um, they're amongst the dead. That's what I just heard. Um, was this person destructive to, to Capricorn? Was this a destruct, destructive person to Capricorn? It's telling me, yeah. Was this a loved one? Yeah, okay, because I'm getting that a little bit too. So I don't know. I'm not. I don't want to say that. I don't want to say that. Um, this person was your loved one, Capricorn. But it was something about this person that was destructive to you. And I'm being forced to say that to a certain extent, Capricorn, that was their karma. Whether you miss this person or not, whether you love them or not, um, this person passing away and the way they passed, that was that was um, justice for you. Um, and I got um, I got like incest 
could, you could have, this person could have molested you when you was younger. I got that. But the cards let me know this person was destructive to you. And the way they died was like justice for you. It was their karma for whatever they did against you. And I got molestation. <clears throat> um, let me see, what is this Ace of Pentacles? I don't know if this person before they passed away was gonna um gonna apologize to you because sometimes the the Ace of Pentacles can be an apology sometimes. Like the Ace of Pentacles is like for example, somebody wanting to apologize, they're not gonna say sorry, they're just gonna like buy you a car. Or something like that. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles. Um, Ace of Pentacles. Great happiness came out. Great happiness. This Ace of Pentacles. The person that passed away. Was this Ace of Pentacles them making Capricorn offer? Yeah. Their great happiness was to make you an offer, but they wasn't able to. They wasn't able to. The chariot went in the reverse because um, they passed away. I don't know if they were able to make you the offer and couldn't finish it. Or they never got the chance to make you this offer. But whatever this offer was, was their great happiness. Or Capricorn, what this could be telling me too. I don't know what this person did against you. But they could have used this Ace of Pentacles to violate you in some type of way. They could have used this Ace of Pentacles to violate you. So, for example, say like for example, Capricorn, you was molested by one of your parents' spouses. Like, I'm going to say for example, if you were a female Capricorn watching this and your, your mother was married, her husband probably used to touch on you when you was little so this could be them like this ace of pentacles is them proposing to your mother it was their great happiness but they used this proposal you know they married your mother but they were secretly molesting you but this ace of pentacles was their great happiness but it ended because the cards is telling me this person was destructive towards you and I got, like, incest or somebody, Capricorn, you was molested. So, let me go ahead up to the top because y'all, um, Oracle was sweet memories. What did I say? Dry flower fairy. So, what came out for that was the four cups. Um, so this is a missed opportunity. This is someone who feels rejected. So Capricorn, whatever this person could have done against you, they, this is how you felt. Four cups, you felt rejected. Or even them passing away, you know. I don't, like I said, I don't know the details of what happened, what this person did destructive against you. Um, in your adult life, I don't know, like I said, this person probably wanted to give you this Ace of Pen Pentacles. That was their way of apologizing to you. But they wasn't able to do it because they passed away. They wasn't able to do it because they passed away. So, for example, say like this is a car. The person that passed away, they wanted to give you a car or help you get a house or whatever. And you feeling rejected. Whether this was um, when the offense happened or... You wasn't able to get that Ace of Pentacles. Or this could be the other way around, Capricorn. What just came to me too, Capricorn, this could be you the parent. You're the parent and you could have gotten married. And whoever you was married to could have been touching on your child and you was not aware of that. And you probably not aware of it, and, and you know, unless you listening to this right now. But that could be what happened too. Whoever you was married to, or whoever made you this Ace of Pentacles, it was your your great happiness. But this person was destructive towards you. 
whether it was directly or indirectly. Because they could have been doing something behind your back to your child. But um, up here is for a cup. So Capricorn, this could be you or possibly even your child um, feeling rejected. Because the four cups is the card of um, rejection. What clarified the four cups was the chariot. So we get to the top and the chariot is um, in the upright. So let me see something. Where's the cards? Oh, was Capricorn the victim of this um, destructive, this person, destruction? Was Capricorn the victim? Was this person doing something against Capricorn's child? Yeah, they was doing it to your child, Capricorn. And this, let me, let me see. Is this four cups Capricorn's child? Is this four cups Capricorn's child? Is this four cups Capricorn's child? No, okay. So this four cups up here. The four cups. Is this some is this the person that passed away? Yeah, okay. So this person, whether Capricorn, they did this to you or they did this to your child. When they was alive, because the chariot in the upright is letting me know this is when they was living. They was chariot in the upright. They was alive. They this is like guilt. Four cups in this energy is guilt. Let me clarify that. Because the five of cups didn't come out. Um they that should be five of cups, but it's four cups. Let me see. Because it's letting me know that four cups is them. Clarify this four cups. Clarify the four cups. Ooh. Someone new is entering your life. Um, hold on. Okay, I have to pick up my cards. So, okay, their four cups is chair filled. Someone new is entering your life. The four cups, is this the person who passed away? Is this them while they were alive? Was they four cups in in the land of the living? No. Oh, okay. I see what's going on. <clears throat> is this four cups telling me how they, how, are they four cups in another realm, in the realm of the dead? Is they four cups? Yeah. Okay. So, these cards is telling me that this person currently, they passed on. But, Capricorn, I don't know if you could be getting remarried or something. Because it's saying someone new is entering your life. And the person that passed away, they four cups. They feel rejected. Because the cards down here told me that they are, you never found their body, but they are amongst the dead. So, they're dead. But, these cards is telling me. This, even while in their whatever in that other realm they full cups they feel rejected because Capricorn someone new is entering your life um um let me see what this cherry is clarify the cherry in the upright clarify cherry in the upright work achievement success Mm. Is this chariot at the top? Is this the person that passed on? Yup. What is this person? <sighs> okay. <laughs> Capricorn, this person, I don't know if they about the... Um... Chariot and ant. 
Is this do this person is this person wanting to come back to Capricorn? Are they going to try to get in contact with Capricorn? You told me no. Chariot. Oh, I think I see what this person's doing. Um, Chariot and the ant. Is this the work that they put in when they was alive? Okay, yeah. So, this person, Capricorn, this person, this deceased loved one. This person is aware that someone new is entering your life. And they feel as though that they the work that they put in when they was on when they was alive was like in vain it was in vain because they feel rejected concerning their life and the work and achievement and success that they had did so i don't know if you and this person could have been in business together if y'all built businesses up together um but you know what I got, Capricorn 2? Whoever new is entering your life could be like intuitive. Intuitive. They could be a tarot reader. And this person that passed on don't want to be exposed. Because it's like they feel rejected because this person that's entering your life can see them. So they feel as though the, when they was alive, the work, their work, achievement, and success was in vain. Because I'm looking at the cards like this. It came out like this. So the person that passed on Capricorn is four cups. They feeling rejected on the other side. Because the new person that's entering your life, this person right here, they can see. They could be intuitive. If this person is not intuitive... If this, if you and this person did business together, <coughs> excuse me, <clears throat> I don't know if this person is coming into your life, Capricorn, is, and is going to rearrange, like, the family legacy that you built with this person that passed away. Because it's telling me that the dead person is feeling rejected about the work, their work, their achievement, and their success. Because they see this person coming into your life and they don't like that. But it's like the person can see your person. So I don't know if you got photos of this person that passed on still in your house. I don't know if you have this person plaques, like they certific certificates, their diplomas. But, yeah... So this person entering, this new person entering your life, they're either intuitive and can see something about this person that passed on, or this is physically, like this person walking to your home, your house or whatever, and the person that passed on their pictures and um, diplomas and stuff, you can still have it laying around the house. <laughs> and your person that passed away is seeing, like he, that, that's, that energy, that spirit don't like that. They feel rejected because this person is entering your life, Capricorn. Um, also, what this could be too, Capricorn. This person that passed on. If this person was touching your child, your child might tell you, Capricorn. And this person entering your life could be like um, social services. Like children protective services. Or something like that. Like a therapist or something from school. Something like that. It could be something like that too. Yep. Um, When I ask for more information about y'all oracle. These sweet memories. The page of cups came out. So Capricorn. This is. um, This is probably a child. Because the pages are children. Um. Your, your child could be a water sign, a Pisces, a Cancer, or a Scorpio. Don't have to be. Let me see. The Page of Cups is this Capricorn's child. 
Is this Capricorn's child? No. Okay. Um, okay. Page of Cups. Is this the person that passed on? Is this them? I think I see what's going on. Yeah. Okay. So, that go to Five of Cups. There we go. I see the Five of Cups. Um, so, they do have emotional regrets and losses. Because Capricorn, this new person entering your life, either they're going to expose this person that's passed on, their offense against you or you guys had some type of business together and this person is going to rearrange like the family legacy maybe help you make improvements i'm getting a little bit of exposure it's something this person passed on it could be like some bank accounts you probably find something out that this person could have been doing shady in your finances or something but this person want to apologize to you the page of cups they want to apologize but um they can't. Two of swords. They blocked. They can't because they passed on. They blocked from apologizing. This apology is blocked. And um, this page of cups got headphones on. So headphones is like um, entertainment. Listening to music. They at peace. So when you got headphones on, it's like you distracted. You enjoying yourself. You listening to music or whatever. And, you know, from watching TV and stuff, people that have experienced um, death, near-death experiences, most of them say that they don't want to come back to Earth. Because whatever that, that bliss, that ecstasy, that, that feeling of being in the other realm is way more better than being on the Earth. So it's like your person want to apologize? But it's like they wouldn't and they can't if they wanted to because it's like they, 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 they're they distracted. They're in like bliss because they passed on. So they don't have to deal with um the drama and the feelings and the emotions of this world and this life. They're blocked. They want to apologize, but they're distracted. They're in a different realm. They're caught up. they caught up. So, they can't apologize. But this person see you, they watch you, and they know that somebody is entering your life. Um, Capricorn, also what I want to say is, if you are, you know, you listen to the tarot, you watching tarot. I don't know if you be, you could be like calling up this person's spirit. You could be doing rituals and stuff, going to seances and the mediums and stuff, and you getting readings on this person. So it's like you you caught you caught you're calling them up a little bit. That's if you're doing that, cause it's like they they want to rest in peace, cause they're in peace. This page of cups, they in peace. They have they caught up. Um. And you probably be tampering with the dead. I don't know what you do. But it's like you calling this person spirit up. I don't know. You could be mourning them too much too. And you calling them up. It's like you're awaking them. And they don't want to be awakened. That's why they four cups too. And that is why and how they are aware that someone new is entering your life. Like I said, you could be going to tarot readers. And people that speak to the dead and stuff. And... They talking about this person that passed on. This person don't want to be brought up. That's why they four cups too. They just want to rest in peace. That's why they four cups. Yeah. So, um, let me see. Yeah, that's your oracle though. Sweet memories, Capricorn, for this week. That's the oracle. So, I don't know if this is your energy or this person that passed on energy. But it says sweet memories. So, Capricorn, that's what I have for you for the first week of March, March 1st to the 6th, 2021. Capricorn, please keep in mind that this reading may or may not resonate with you. This is a public and a general reading. This is not a private nor a personal reading. So, this energy um, doesn't necessarily have to be for you 